Welcome back students. Let us continue. Using string functions in a single statement, convert the following such that the first letter is in uppercase and rest all are in lowercase. Here string s is equal to Ramayana given in mixed case. It is indicated to use only string functions. So we have to take the first letter and then convert into uppercase. To convert to uppercase, we know string dot to uppercase we will give. And then to change into lower case, leaving the first letter, all other letters should be taken. Then dot to lower case we suppose to give. So how to extract the first letter using string functions? We know that we have substring. So we can give s dot substring of 0, 1. So that will take only character at index 0 and rest it will not take dot to uppercase we can give and then we have to combine that one and other all lower cases so we will give dot concat now we can give s dot substring of one so from starting one rest all will be taken dot to lower case of we terminate i will delete this code and paste that one and also the answer line So we have to print, otherwise we will not get the output, no. So I will close this. So you can see that it has been converted as we need. So we will go to next question. What is the output of the following Java code? String m is equal to Mississippi. So printing statement m dot last index of is. So let us write the index number first. So we are having index starting from 0 to 9. We are finding for combination of i and s. Combination of i and s available in two places. It has been asked to find the last index of. So the second time it is available is starting from 4. So 4 will be the answer. The first letters index only will be given. Compile this. No syntax error. So 4 is right answer. Let us go to next question. What is the output of the following code? S1 is given as Java. S2 also given as Java. String S3 is equal to new string of S1. So here we can see object is created. System dot out dot print line of S1 equals S2. So again S1 equals S3. So S1 equal to equal to symbol is given that is relational operator and then S2 is given. And then S1 equal to equal to S3. Okay. So here this is a string function. It will check whether both are equal or not. The output will be boolean type. So this will be true. Both are same. It will be true. The next one S1 equals S3. So S1 is stored, so that is true. Here S3 is name of the object. And then S1 equal to equal to S2, that is also true. When it comes to S1 equal to equal to S3, it will be false because S3 is name of the object only there. So I will select this, paste that one. Compile, no syntax error. So you can see true, 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 false. Let us go to the next question. What will be the output of the following code? So printing statement page number that is a string plus 12 plus 2. So only one statement here. So 
by seeing this numericals you will add both and then you will put page number 14 as the answer many times it happens but see page number is the string it cannot add page number and 12 so it will give page number beside that 12 again that with that 2 cannot be added so it will give just beside that so that is the plus symbol is here just concat so we will get page number 122 as the answer i want to recall about the operator precedence when operators are in the same precedence then associativity rules also there so it will be from left to right let me compile so you can see page number 122 next question which package should be imported in java program to get input using scanner class input stream reader so we already used many times scanner classes in util package so we will write java.util and then input stream reader will be java.io next question given a package computer.laptop write a java statement to import a class named keyboard contained in this package so the package name is computer.laptop and the class contain is keyboard in it so to import this we should write the import statement import so this is the package so we write computer.laptop then dot the name of the class so that is keyboard and then we terminate next question if character x is equal to m write a java statement to check whether x is having character or not we have character class to check whether it is character or not so in that we will give character dot is letter of x so whatever is stored in x it will check whether it is letter that is a character so i will delete this paste that so we have to print and then we also need x system dot out dot print line of so we need the input for x so character x is equal to let us give m here so compile this no syntax error so we can also use digit let me show that also so if we have int type then we can check int m for example if we check digit so it will be m is a character here it will say false so it will be false so if it is a number there for example if i give 8 it should be true now so it is true so here we have given x as integer type but we have enclosed in the single quotation as character still it is having the value of digit so it will give true only this is just for your clarification i showed you let us go to the next question given int n is equal to 25 write a java statement to convert n to string type to convert into string type from integer so we can give integer dot to string of so in the bracket we can give the integer variable i will copy now 
so the problem statement int n is equal to 25 was there so how do we know whether it is converted to string type or not let us give a printing statement and then we will add something with that system dot out dot print line of so with this let us add 5 so if it is not converted then it will give 30 as the answer otherwise it will give 25 beside 5 that will become 255 compile this no syntax error you can see 255 as the answer so that is 25 is a string now then 5 has come beside that let us see next question if string s is equal to 20 write a statement to convert to primitive double data type see here 20 is given inside the quotation that is string type s yes. to convert into double data type we can have double dot to value of so that is s yes inside the bracket here so whatever the value available for that string it will be converted into double value so it will give 20 point 0 as the answer. So I will paste so again we have to print this so instead of simply printing let us add something with this already 20 is there 30 i add double data type i will give something 0.45 compile this it has an error because of this quotation here sometimes we copy from the other application the quotation becomes different so let us give straight quotation compile this no syntax error so 50.45 so it is converted into double data type it is sure next question write a java statement to input character using scanner class to use scanner class we know we have to create the object so we will write scanner obj is equal to new scanner of system dot in and then to input a character we need first a variable for character we give any variable there is equal to obj dot next of it will take the string so to take only one character we suppose to give dot character at zero so this will take one single character from the user so I will replace this code so compile this no syntax error so I will run this so here I give L so you can see that it is taken one input students I hope many type of questions i have given you can also practice questions from other sources or you can also create your own questions to confirm the answer you can run on the java program having more practice will lead you to get very high score in the exam keep watching my channel even share to others thank you students